Hello and welcome. Today we're playing Outer Wilds. As you can see, it has the Echoes of the Eye expansion. I know very little about this game, and that's on purpose because from what I've read, it's a game you want to go in knowing nothing about. Having said that, this is your spoiler warning. If you are at all interested in playing this game, I'll give a short description of it here. But if you're at all interested in playing this game, it's probably in your best interest to go and buy it and play it yourself. Uh, the reason for this being, from what I've understood, is the point of the game is discovering mechanics and learning how to use those mechanics to achieve the goal of space flight and discovery in, in outer space. That's not going to work so well if you've seen somebody else already do it. So there you go. That's a long spoiler warning. Having said that, I am very excited to play this game. I've, uh, I only found out about it like a couple weeks ago. I saw advertisements for it on Steam, you know, every now and then. It came out two or three years ago, um, but I never paid attention to it. I, I thought it was a completely different genre of game. Uh, and then a, a week or two ago, I heard about this and yeah, it definitely sounds like my kind of game. So we're going to head in. We're going to do some exploration of our surroundings, exploration of hopefully outer space and other planets and see where it takes us. New expedition time. Loading. Right off the start, I do like the music in the menu there. Okay, so we have our first mechanic, pressing the E button. Wake up. All right, so we can look around. We can move with WASD. We can roast a marshmallow. And talk to Slate. Can I have marshmallow, please? All right. Here's what we look like. I can see uh, blue hands with spots on them. The first step in a discovery game is never follow their prompts. I'm just kidding. Requires launch code. Okay. We're just going to explore the area a little bit, and then we're going to go talk to Slate. Oh, I can jump. Hold. Release. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so you have to hold. Release. What happens if I tap it quickly? Smaller jump. Nice. Try again. All right. Uh, let's not go too far. Let's go back and talk to Slate. And maybe we'll even have a mar uh, marshmallow as well. And doze off. Okay, it's not voice acted. That's all right. Oh, I imagine we probably look like Slate, judging by the pattern on his face. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day. Seems like you only joined... <laughs> only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly you're, here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. Okay, alright, so maybe this isn't as much to do with learning how to get into space. I mean... Okay. You sure he fixed the retro rockets? I'm going to guess that if we say, let's go, we've got a problem. <laughs> Just given that there's that option. Uh, okay. Hornfell's at the observatory. Okay. Let's have a quick marshmallow. And extend it. Thick. Oh, I burnt it already. Uh, let's toss that. Make a new one. All right. Three, two, one. Bring it up higher a bit. Okay. This is probably really important to our space program. Important. Can I rotate the stick? I right click, left click? Nope. Okay. Okay. It's dark there. That's that's looking fine. Let's eat it. Yum. Okay, good. Hey, it's daytime. Day-night cycle.
we probably cannot jump this, right? Oh. I don't think so. so. What is that? There's a waterfall? I like the music. Having said that, I might lower the music volume. Talk to Mika. Hang on, this looks like that character from the sequel series of Star Wars. Sequels to the sequels. Hey, it's you. Did he? I didn't say I was ready to go. Um, it's almost like they heard what I just said. I want to practice the pro before I leave? That's actually probably a good idea. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Uh, you know what? I, I do want to practice. I wasn't saying you. I said a pro. Just kidding. I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. Okay. Uh, model ship. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to leave. Horizontal thrust is WASD. Up and down thrust is control and shift. Okay. Down and up. So that makes sense. So let's leave. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right, hang on. Let's reset. All right, this is going to be really interesting. Uh, there's a... There's a old browser game, Quop, where you had to... Oh, hang on. Horizontal thrust. If I want... Okay. Uh, I need to lean forward. We want to land on one of the geysers here. We are moving backwards a little bit. Interesting. Oh no! I was so close. Uh, can we right ourselves? Not if it flips around the flag. Yeah, what I was saying about Quop was that, uh, the. Oh. I don't know if I hit something there. Why did I flip all of a sudden? Let's try again. Maybe I've got a problem with my depth perception. Let's. Forward a little bit more. Uh, okay, so I see, see the steam down below us. It's interesting because it seems to like push us back a little bit. Hey, landed. Let's take off from there and go to the slightly further one. Oh, too far. Okay, so I do have a death perception issue. Uh, all right, I think I got the the hang of it though. It's just a matter of. Being able to tell where I am. There's a fancy minor lights here. Okay. Launch tower. Nice place. Can we open this door? No. Nope. Let's go talk to this gentleman. Orphy. Uh-huh. Good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Uh... No, we want to stay on good terms. Let's... Here. Ah, oh, okay. What was, uh... There's something. Oh, that's the geyser. Right. That makes sense. The observatory. Here's a banjo playing Nace. Ganace? Nace? Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. I hope. Maybe. I mean, I think the day-night cycle is going pretty quickly here. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments. Ooh, okay, so there's other people who have already left. Well, I saw the sign for the observatory. We don't need to ask about that. Uh, let's ask about the instruments. 
Oh, <laughs> musical instruments. Um, I took that. <laughs> took that to mean like the instruments on a ship, like the you know barometers and stuff. Feldspar's harmonica. Oh, music in space. That'll be one of the space programs. Other travelers. Ah, okay. Alright, I'm going to take a moment to reduce the music volume, because it is quite loud. Uh, music... Bring it down a bit. It is nice music, though. Resume. And... Here's Mari. Marl? Marl. Al is going to miss me. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. The platform the ship's launched from is getting old. <laughs> Less flammable one. Huh. Hey, I mean, if I'm in space, it doesn't matter too much, does it? You guys have to deal with the flammable launch pad. Let's go over here. To the observatory. Tefra and Galena. And a radio. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we got a mission to go on. Galena? Oh, Galena doesn't talk much. That's fine. House is closed. Oh, this is quite the path. Alright. Hello, Spinel. Sorry if I'm going too quickly on the text here. Um, I'll 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 pause and read out important things. I guess this is nice though. I like the world building here. Um, first trip. Hmm. Apparently, I already know this. Oh, that's rude. Uh, yeah, I want to hear about this. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, let's scream in shock. Seems like a really nice place to live. Zero G cave and the observatory. So it seems like this world is just built around space travel. They've got their fishing, um, they've got wood cutting, like the basics they need for sustenance. Uh, and then, and then, holy crap. Huge path, I think of. All the work it would have taken, I forgot his name, Marl? It, all the work it would have taken Marl to cut, to, all, to cut down all the wood. What is this? Did you just throw something at it? Oh, he did. What's up with that? Hey, Arcosi. Ah... Ghost matter. I I agree. Ghost matter is cool. If 
Thank you for the warning. How do we identify ghost matter? Oh, what is this? Camera. Ah, uh, do we identify identify ghost matter with a camera, maybe? So I have two buttons for take snapshot. What is... Oh, oh, okay. There you go, yes, yeah, so that's exactly what it is. So we take a photo, we can see some ghost matter. Huh. Anything around us? Nice. The Zero-G Cave and the Observatory. I am interested in going to the Observatory. Said there. Actually, I'm wondering what's up there. What is that? Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. East, the Nomai Ruins. Is that really all that says? I don't believe you. South to the Quantum Grove Center. Crater. Crater. Northwest to the Geyser Mountains. Oh, that's uh, what I already read. North to the Young Bark Crater. Okay. What is this? Scout Launcher. Aim the launcher to launch a scout. So if we want to go to the, the geyser mountains. Oh. What was that about? Oh. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, Hang on. What was this one? The Nomai Ruins. There are the Nomai Ruins. Hey, okay, that's great. We will come back here when we have more of an idea on places we want to explore. What is this? Oh, hello, Moraine. We don't have a name, apparently. Ventures. Wow. Whip a signal scope. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, what was that? Ah. Okay, I, I love this. Uh, let's go to the observatory. I, I am, although, is this, oh, oh my goodness. All right, so can, we can just do that from anywhere, eh? All right. Um, yeah, it's probably a good idea to go in here. Talk to Gosan. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big lunch. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, you can tell I didn't hop on the on the ship yet. Osan's missing an eye. Yeah, I mean.
Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Um, all right. Tactic lift, head on down. This is nice. Wow. Oh, okay. I jump. Alright, it's not quite zero G, but Alright, let's turn on the flashlight. In the barrel. Just a pickaxe. Neat. Alright, we should probably put some equipment on for sure. Yep. Up and down thrust. Alright, so I can hold shift. Yep. Yeah. That was okay. <clears throat> Alright. Return the suit. We don't want to do that. We want to head up into the cavern. I wonder if like can we take damn oh we've got a fuel. I didn't notice. In the top left we have fuel and oxygen. Um I wonder if we take damage from falling too quickly. Look at that. All right, zero G cave is down this way. I want to land too quickly. Oh boy, that's intimidating. Oh, zero of three repaired. Uh, all right. So I've I have played some space engineers way long ago. And in that you had like a, a lock orientation kind of a button, which which helped with this sort of situation where you're Oh, hang on. Sorry, I gotta get used to pressing control to go downwards. Pressing S. Alright, we want to slow down, lock on, and then oh. Now what? Uh Oh, there you go. Space hold. Oh. oh, space to hold match velocity and then hold this to repair. Okay. That's pretty nice. Um Yeah, so I, I have played a game where you had to navigate like this in actual three dimensions. Head in here. Lock on. Hold that to match velocity. And then we need to get closer. And then hold to repair. Very good. Head back out. Uh, here, sound over here. Oh, we can lock on from all the way back here. Hold space. Oh, okay. That makes it much easier. Not hit our head. Sweet. That was good. Which way out? Hmm. There we go. <laughs> so neat. Velocity match to what? Oh, hey, bud. Who's this? What are you mining? Give me the dirt. Oh, I, I actually already went in. You 
looks fine. A little unhappy. Missing part of his ear. Okay. Okay. Sorry to ruin your day. Hmm. Ooh, okay, okay. I think I saw some red there. I don't know if that was from me hitting the wall or just lighting. Neat. That was fun. Head on up. Okay, the jumping mechanic's cool, but a little silly looking. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter what speed you're traveling, it's all relative, right? See, you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Will do. Try to avoid getting yourself killed now. Okay. I wasn't planning on it, but if you say so. What's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I take that down for you, Gosan? Let's head over to the observatory. Is this it? No. That looks like an observatory. So I don't know if there's if I need to actually explore and find things. To be honest, this is actually already different from what I was expecting. I thought I thought it was more of like a survival get to space kind of thing. I didn't think we'd have the whole space program already set up. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last. The translator tool. Oh. I am excited. Yeah. The new Nomai statue, I'm curious. Oh, okay. Oh, this is it right here. I see. As uh, yeah, definitely an interesting looking being, goat person. Is that a third eye? Goat person with three eyes. Okay. What would be the use of the third eye? Wouldn't that? Be... That's redundant. I think their head shape would be different to to accommodate the third eye. Read the radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. Hmm. Okay. How many planets is that? That's, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six ish. Then that. That's the satellite. New exhibit. This is a neat place. Oh, okay, okay, so we can read about the plants. One, two, three, four, five. And a piranha. Anglerfish. Angler. Yeah, space angler. Read about it. Anglerfish, okay. Ooh, okay. Hmm. There are dangers out there. Crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. Ooh. Right out. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. 
I go against the ceiling? Nope, not quite. Neat. Can I now go? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. It's just a proximity thing, which makes sense. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Okay, so that's that's what I was launching earlier was a scout. So these are a scout, I guess. Uh, some more of the Nomai skeletons. Skeleton. Oh yeah, here I am criticizing the three eyes, and I myself apparently have four, or six, or something. Um. Earthians. Alright. I'm going to guess we are the Hearthians. What is this? Xeno archaeological. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Ah, a translator. Sabo, we're nearly ready. Felix. Felix or Felix? And I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. This is an interesting way of writing. Wow. Imagine trying to read that. I wonder if the, the spiral or the loops or whatever this is would be called. Those are important. This, uh, we can't read this, it's just a symbol. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, and that's where we started, okay. Well, I... What are these balls here? They move on their own, I see that. Um, oh, okay. So why would these mo be more greatly affected? Are they denser would be the answer, right? Then they'd have a pretty significant effect on stuff that's nearby them. All right, let's get those uh, the launch code here. Where did the statue come from? Why did the Nomai make the statue? I don't, why would he know? Uh, I think I'll discover anything cool and safe space. Oh, I want the launch codes. Okay, let's ask. Hey, you never know. Maybe you'll be the one to solve the mysteries of the Nomai. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Um, oh, that was it. Okay. So where do I get the launch code from? I might have missed that. There was another room at some point, right? Yeah, let's head out here. Ooh. Nice looking rock. Conscious observation. Yeah. All right, so it moved. We are consciously observing it. Does it require us to look away? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Why is this pink here? Oh, I see. They're, they're different colors. Green and blue. Pink. Reddish. Um... How do we get the launch code? We can head up here. Maybe this is the way. There's a solar map. Hornfells. Oh, okay. I'm going to talk to Hornfells for it. There you are. Finish the pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest uh, astronaut off the ground. 
Oh, really? Oh, I guess that makes sense since me and Hal made it, I guess. What's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. Definitely interested in that. Meeting with the other travelers? Uh, eh. We'll probably do that, but... I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. Well, I guess so. If learning about the Nomai leads us there. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. I'll... Uh... I think I'm going to wing it. It's actually, most honest. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar. Isn't Feldspar the one that hasn't returned? Might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Fine day for a launch. It's been several days since people have said I'm launching today. Ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. That's... I'm going to stick with the more positive one. Excellent. Let's take those launch codes. Give them to me. Here they are. Best to get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship. All right. Thank you, Hornfels. Launch codes is dash 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 dot dot dash dot. I will remember that, I'm sure. See the map? Oh, okay. Fancy. Hmm. I, I yeah, pressed. I thought it was locked in. Uh, rotate the V. Oh, that's what I'm doing there. So this is the place we kind of want to stay away from because it's dangerous. Probably go there at some point though. What's this? Oh, is that the that's the satellite going around? Yeah, the vertical orbit. What is this? Hmm, secret? Alright. Riddle Hollow. Hollow's Lantern. That's us. Hey, now would be a good time to launch off to Brittle Hollow. Giant Steep. So, there was someone who went there and he came back with that statue. The Hourglass Twins. Pretty neat. They orbit each other. Yeah. Ember and ash. What is this? There's an orbit really close to the sun here. Can't imagine this thing needs to stay f on the same plane, but... Also, that looks like it's artificial, so... We probably sent it there. Or the Numai. Could be them. Neat solar system. Ooh, spooky. If the eyes open. Oh, the eyes open. Can I use my translator? Okay. All right. Hi there. Uh, what did you do with Hal? Hmm. So I don't know if those are... Specifically the things that I've looked at, or if that was just a preset bunch of memories. Um, Alright, well, let's head back to the launch pad. Am I missing something? Didn't we have to walk a ways along here to get here? Yeah, I sure did. Hey, how about you just follow me back there and see that the statue has turned 90 degrees.
Why? Why was Horn? Okay. Not not to be pedantic, but why was Hornfels trying to open the eyes of a statue? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, can I? Hang on, can I just pull? No, that's my flashlight. Um, why was for that? Did we have a button for the translator? Pretty sure it was just F, wasn't it? Hang on, let's go back in. Not gonna like do anything creepy right now, is it? Go over here. Hold to translate. No, okay, so I think it just comes out automatically. So if it doesn't pop up right now, then I can't use it. Okay, off to the launch pad. Ah, another beautiful sunrise. Oh. Is there any use in me going here and activating the lift? Hello, Tefra. I'll definitely come back. Well, yeah. That'd be annoying to ascend. Gotta like hop up each step. Oh, and then we can't hop up this way. Okay. Ah. All right. Well, let's talk to Slate one last time and then head off. I would like to have that right now, please. <laughs> okay, all right. That's that. Hey, I could go to sleep. I'm not going to. Let's head into space. Enter the launch codes. Ooh. Ooh. Wish we had that technology. Suit up. Medical supplies. Probably going to be important. Uh, planetary chart. Okay. Uh, ship log. Hey, 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 is that gravity thing? Oh, I see, okay, so that's how we keep artificial gravity on the ship. Helpful. Check the ship log. So, okay, so I guess we'll be filling these out. The main source of explosions on this planet, that's good. Opened its eyes and looked at me. Okay, so... I just automatically enter this stuff. It's kind of strange to put it in the village log rather than uh, underneath that. So a cave at the very center of Timber Hearth used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. Prepared another satellite for Gossam. Find in rumor mode. What's the C do? Oh. Okay. This is going to be the Great Deep. Or Giant's Deep, excuse me. Try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Ooh, that's fancy. So, alright, so there's going to be some kind of, uh, some questing, I guess. Not just all out, like, explorer for fun. Um, Gabber went back to Giant Steep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. So, Giant Steep was, like, the furthest planet, right? Like, like there's the, uh, the giant... Was it the Bramble? Bramble something? Uh, I do want to check out the one that was closer to us. Which one was that? Timber Hearth is where we are. Hollow. Brittle Hollow. And then Giant Seep. And then Dark Bramble. 
What is that? Is that, uh... Yeah, it was... Chip? Hourglass Twins. Yeah, let's head to Brittle Hollow if we can. So, suit up. That's about it. Oh, open the hatch to head out. Buckle up. Alright. Lift off and landing cameras. So, oh, I see. Okay, that's pretty handy. We hold left shift, we lo launch. Ooh, holding shift. Uh, how long do I have to hold shift? Do I come crashing back down if I let go too early? Ah, there you go. I think that's our cue. Wow, that was easy. Awesome. Oh wow, it's it's super easy to travel around, I guess. Where are the other planets? I probably should check them out on the map right now. Uh, we could head to Giant's Deep. We're kind of synchronized with it right now. That means it's not easier to get to it. We should be heading for something that we're not in sync with. The Interloper. What's the Interloper? Oh, right, we're not in orbit anymore, so we're actually falling behind Timber Hearth. Let's head to Giant's Deep. We were definitely getting hints to go there. This is... I'll be honest, I'm not even sure which one that is. That's gotta be Giant's Deep. Okay. Locked on. Head over. What about the moon? Can we go check out the moon? That, uh... Ooh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down! Oh my lord, no! 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 Okay, alright, we're good. <clears throat> well, that's a hurricane. Let's not go there. Oh, hold shift, hold shift. This is a small planet. This is a dangerous place. Here's an island. Oh, yeah, yeah there's a landing pad. Alright. Get over this. Oh, nope, nope. Shift, 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 shift. Good. Oh, this is much easier than the model was. Oh, C. Oh, I need to press C. <laughs> Alright. Nice. That was pretty easy, actually. Let's stand up. Oh, Q. Unbuckle. Do I need a suit to go out here? Like, do we have atmosphere on this planet? <laughs> is this... If I die, what happens? Do I respawn in here? Do I restart the game? Uh, ship log have anything about this planet now? Okay. Let's test it. Opening the hatch. Oh, fell right down. There we go. Ah. What a nice place. They've done a good job here. Ooh, that's ominous. Okay, hurricane pad, hurricane pad. Got it. Wow. Whoa, hey, what's going on? What was that about? Okay. Alright then. We'll probably do that, but I want to come up here first. Well, who's leaving these skeletons around? Guys, put them in boxes or something. Oh yeah, we can read this. I want to read it. Okay, I'll put it back down. Can we read it please? Oh, I see. This thing protects us from the storm. Okay. Gotta watch out for the storm when it comes by. How do I know when it's gone?
It lets me out. Right. Oh, let's get in. Wow. Wow. Oh. Nice. Um, all right. Final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send into orbit around giant steep for assembly. All right, maybe that's that thing we saw was there. All right, yeah, it's aiming, translate that. Oh, hold it. Next step will be to send privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. And this says, all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Um. Okay. Nice. <laughs> That's a weird thing to add. If I know my brother, Avens, and his spouse, will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. Alright, a little foreshadowing, maybe? Okay. That's good. Product, uh... Designing product specifications around intended use. Or expected use. So we can go up on this wall too? Alright. Let's do that. Hopefully the water doesn't rise on us while we're here. Oh! Um, maybe I did need to suit up. That was a... I'm sorry, bud. 